Kazakhstan has 12 national parks, 10 sanctuaries, 50 game reserves, 26 natural landmarks, and all of them are worth seeing. Watch the program Nature's Kingdom and enjoy the beauty of wild nature. The delta of any river is a lowland downstream made of river sediment carved out by a split web of flows and channels. Ili is the largest water artery in the land of the Seven Rivers for Semirechye. It starts in China, passes across the territory of Kazakhstan and flows into the drainless fresh and saltwater lake Balkhash. This river is 1,439 kilometers long. For those who love fishing, underwater adventures and photographers from all over Kazakhstan regularly come here. The close to the Balkhash area, where the river breaks into multiple channels and streams, is a paradise for them. Just like most desert rivers, the Ili River does not have any feeders. The flow constantly washes out the clay and sand banks, and the water is not very clear because of this mixture, which gives it a brownish color. Heavier particles settle on the bottom, forming uplifts, causing the river to turn away from its previous course and make a new path for itself. People say a river can cut through rock, and the larger the river is, the greater its power. Downstream, the Ili cuts new channels all the time, clearing out old beds made of flat sandbars. The birds coming to the sandbag for rest leave their tracks on the virgin sand. Their twitter gets mixed in with the buzzing of mosquitoes and it's complemented by the choir of frogs near the Balkhash and the light splash of water coming onto the shore. The delta, which is 120 kilometers long and 90 kilometers wide, has banks along which walls of cane with some swamp areas, salt and fresh lakes with water of different colors, cracked soil of salt marshes, give way to tamarisk groves. The total area of the Ili River is 6,500 square kilometers, and each channel has its own life hidden from strangers' eyes. A heron hidden on the swamp mound is waiting for its prey. Swans ride up in the air flapping their large wings upon hearing a boat coming into the channel. This land is abundant for the water birds. One can often encounter a redhead, a stiff tail, a gray duck, a muller duck, a European teal, red-headed and wide-eyed poachers, and pelicans nest near the Ganis. They trap the catch and others dive in for it. According to scientists, the nesting area in the Ely downstream has around 40 kinds of birds. The winter nesting places and passages are noted to have more than 50 kinds of birds. Some time ago, the Delta had giant colonies of grey geese nesting here. There are also birds that have been included into the Red Book, the glossy ibis, whooping swan, spoonbill, white heron, white-tailed eagle, palace sea eagle, and fish hawk. From the waterfowl and semi-aquatic bird types in the delta, one can often encounter the gray crested grebe, the redneck grebe, the bald coot, the bittern, the moorhen, crake, rail, curlew, seagull, tern, and others. From birds of prey, a harrier. The cane grove is inhabited by the shrike, the Eurasian pendulum tit, the bearded tit, blue tit, the leaf warbler, the red bird, the warbler, the blue-throated robin, and nightingales sing their songs in the cool nights of May. The landscape of the cane jungle is brightened up by the gorgeous Mongolian fazan, the bright kingfisher, a hoopoe, green and golden bee eater. Historical facts show that the etiological fauna of the Ili Delta and Lake Balkhash is quite meager and is limited by five native types of fish. Three endemic, Shrank's Perch, Balkhash Marinka, and Plainstone Loach. 
The two other types, the Limarinka and the Strahloch, live in other water bodies of the same basin. The European carp was introduced to the Balhash Lake in the late 19th century. In 1934, ichthyology experts brought the Aral barbo, and the Aral subspecies of sturgeon, the French sturgeon, was also brought to the lake. Later were added the bream, the pike perch, and the catfish, which reaches gigantic sizes and a bore out which there are many legends told in this area. Asp, grass carp and silver carp, Caspian roach and Lindberg states later appeared in the Balhash and the number of fish types exceeded 20. Stone Morocco, Amor false gudgeon and sleeper were added here along with the precious types of fish. Most of the species did well, but the pike perch that multiplied very fast started hunting the river perch and the marinka, and the European carp started losing industrial importance. Today the fish fauna got another predator, the snakehead, which can easily adapt to any conditions. Initially it lived in the rivers of the Far East. In the early 60s of the 20th century, around 100 snakeheads were brought from the Moscow Zoo to the Kalgancha chick farm, where they quickly multiplied, got into the Sirdaria, and spread across the flatland rivers of Uzbekistan, south of Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan, along with the pond carp fish. This is a large fish with a weight of up to 10 kilograms. The snakehead prefers weedy and shallow parts of ponds. It can easily withstand oxygen deficiency and produces slime that covers its body and breathes air using its epibranchial organs. Today the Balhash Marinka and the Balhash Perch are included into the Red Book of Endangered Species. This lake has fringe sturgeon and the Aral Barbo, which went extinct in the Aral Sea. Some time ago, the fierce Turan tiger was a menace in the near Balhash area. But cane burning and cutting, as well as the destruction of the feeding base, resulted in the complete disappearance of this animal in the Elite Delta in the mid-30s. This land is full of wild boars and roes, but they're hard to see. Sharp hearing and excellent sense of smell allow the boars to feel danger from a mile away. Roe, or small deer, are also very careful. The delta also has wolves and jackals, jungle cat, foxes, and the Tulai hare. The muskrat used to be bred here as a precious fur rodent and was adapted to the elite delta climate in the 30s. It is quickly multiplied and spread throughout the near Balhash area. Somewhere above the plains, lizards move in short dashes across the loose sand of the sand dunes. The wind rolls the sand particles and swoops the tumbleweed. The sand dunes have vegetation communities forming on them. Pink tamarisk swings from side to side, obeying the gusts of wind. Rattling fruits shake on the sultry branches. Saxoel bushes move in what seems to be an entranced dance. The tamarisk populates the dry shores of seas and salt lakes. It blooms for a long time and bursts up the landscape with pink color. This bush is a decoration for the desert and can withstand drought as well. Its roots extend as deep as 30 meters. The near Balhash area trees include willow forest, Asiatic poplar groves combined with salt tree and tamarisk underbrush. The Asiatic poplar is a type of poplar tree with leaves of different shapes, which gave it the name of a diversifolious Asiatic poplar tree. The trees form small groves where bird nests can be found on the crooked trunks. Golden eagles, white-tailed eagles, booted eagles build their nests in the treetops here. The Asiatic poplar tree has been included into Kazakhstan's Red Book. Tugai thickets can be found along the riverbanks with silverberry, willow, salt trees, honeyberry, rosehip, eurotia, caliganum, licorice, and cheatgrass. The tree and bushes are interwoven with clematis, the lianas of Tugai forests. These forests play an important role in the riverine desert biocommunities. 
tree roots fortify the shores, keeping them from being eroded by the river flow, prevent sludge from setting, and the riverbed from shallowing, and they create good conditions for the fish to spawn. Walls of cane bushes line along the channels. Underwater hunters often lose their reference points while finding themselves between the young sprouts because the cane stalks don't break but bend and after chasing the fish deep into the cane groves, they find themselves surrounded by a real wall. It is important for the hunters to get to the open water and not get deeper into the grove. However, there are more and more people who would like to take part in these competitions which are held from spring until mid-fall and they're neither afraid of cold water nor of mosquitoes. The channels and arms of the Ili River Delta flow into the Balhash Lake, the largest drainless body of water after the Caspian and Aral Seas. The lake is 614 kilometers long and 3.5 to 44 kilometers wide. The water surface area is 18,200 square kilometers. This body of water is considered to be a phenomenon, as its western and eastern parts, which are connected by a narrow strait, have different mineralization levels. The western part, fed by the larger Lee River, is fresh, and the eastern one is salty. Its maximum depth is 26 meters, and according to environmental scientists, this is the world's largest puddle. But how much water does a person need for true happiness? During warm seasons, the resorts are full of vacationers from different areas of Kazakhstan and Russia. Kazakhstan's bikers hold their festivals on the Balkhash shores, competing on sand dunes and entering the town as a noisy crowd to show off their riding skills. Water tourists participate in the World Sailing Championships on the lake. This is when Balkhash shows its temper, raising storm waves. And this is the exciting part. Who is going to win the battle of nature versus human with a sail? An ancient legend about the origin of the lake tells about a sorcerer called Balhash and his daughter Ili. Numerous rich men with herds of horses loaded with gold and silver asked for the hand of this beauty, but she chose the shepherd Karatao who won the contest, arranged by the father Balhash. However, instead of the promised prize, the young man was exiled. But youth is blithesome, even in the legends, and the girl ran away after her loved one. The sorcerer's curse reached them, and they turned into the two rivers, and Balhash himself stood between them, turning into a giant lake. Recreational fishing on the Balhash is a special type of activity. Fishing is a form of art, and not everyone can master it. A true fisherman skillfully moves in the boat in search of the catch. There are the fishing rods and reels with hooks for each kind of fish, which are cast professionally into the water. Native inhabitants of the reservoir move through the water in search of the bait. The underground water contests are allowed in the Ili River Delta only during certain periods of time. The participants are allowed to catch certain types of fish by the number, with no restrictions for the snakehead. The land fishermen can only catch and then have to let go of the fish. The fans of fishing come with licenses for fishing to multiple fishing villages and bases along the Ili River area. And if there is no catch in one place, they move to another and then another, regardless of whether it's early in the morning or at dusk under the scorching sun or in the rain, alone or as a team. Experts say that in the early Quaternary period, the Delta had a different geographic position. Its three main arms, Naran Bakanas, Orta Bakanas and Shed Bakanas, were located more to the east from their current positions. Now there are only dry beds left from the ancient delta cutting through the Sariyasek Atrao desert. Long time ago, the rivers Topar and Eli used to be the widest and most affluent, but the river has changed, and presently the maximum water flow is in the channels Jidele, Ir, Baimene, and Shubarkunan. 
which means the delta is shifting from southwest to northeast. The distance from Almaty to these beautiful places is around 500 kilometers.